Hey everybody, this is Spiro, back with another screencast. Today we're going to check out how to handle situations where our apps are trying to access the internet, but for whatever reason it's not available. Most applications you'll write will have some sort of interaction that will require connection to the internet, whether it's posting to a game in a leaderboard, or grabbing updates, or sending a message. As we develop with a simulator, we often take for granted that our connection is always on. So what happens if the user's Wi-Fi turns off, or if they enter a dead zone? How can we let them know that there's not an internet connection available? And what can we do to re-engage them once that connection is available? In this screencast, we'll take a look at the Reachability Network Helper class to help us check the network status of the user's device. We'll also take a look at implementing a network check before performing an action that requires internet connection. And then we'll explore how we can monitor our connection status and handle network changes using a popular implementation to make this a little easier. So let's get started. Inside the start project, we'll import the system configuration framework. We'll then use the method sc-network-reachability-create, with which takes in domain name. The first parameter is the allocator. We'll pass nil to use its default one. One thing to keep in mind is that we aren't checking if it's possible to connect somewhere. We're just checking whether the interface is available and would allow a connection. Next, we'll create a function called check reachable. That will call sc-network-reachability. sc-network-reachability provides us network state information with a set of flags, sc-network-reachability flags. We'll then create a function to interpret that flag and have check reachable alert the user as to what the current network status is. We'll then check reachable. Now let's go ahead and run, and we'll toggle our internet connection, and you should see alerts with status information based on the current status. In this case, we're just sending an alert depending on the network condition, but what you might want to do is alert the user if their internet connection is not available, but then execute your code if is network reach is true. Another neat feature of the reachability class is that you can use it to also detect for the different connection types, such as 3G and LTE. This could be useful to let your user know that they might be facing longer upload and download times when using your app. Now, what if we want to continuously check for a network condition? Suppose we want to not only let the user know that the internet is not available when they're trying to make that network request, but then automatically complete that request when the network becomes available. A reachability instance continuously fires reachability change notification whenever there's a change in the network reachability status. We'll set up a function to listen to that notification. This notification will contain the reachability instance as an object. To do something like that, we'll leverage a popular class put together by Ashley Mills. This class does a good job abstracting a lot of the nuances inside the reachability class, which is a little outside the scope of this screencast. You can manually put this class into your project and call it within view controller. I've added it inside our starter project. So let's go ahead and add an instance of that class and then modify our view controller to listen for those events. and then we'll create the function to notify us based on the network change. Now we'll call set reachability notifier and now run. Let's go ahead and toggle our internet connection. You should see the information in the debugger change based on our connection. To stop events, we can go ahead and add reachability stop notifier and remove the observer. After we've successfully gotten a connection, we'll then perform the action that we need. There you have it. You should now be able to check the network status before performing a network function and set up events that will continuously notify your app of any network connection changes. Before we go, I'd like to thank James Taylor for tech editing this screencast. And remember, before you make that handshake, remember to reach out. All right, I'm out.